Abundant energy in harmony with nature. Smart Grid. Renovation of our obsolete electrical power grid. By Larry Hartweg, Zedmaster at ZeroEnergyDesign.com. The specifications for our alternating current American electrical power grid were developed by Nikola Tesla and used by Westinghouse at Niagara Falls 125 years ago in 1883. Their ancient technology and assumptions like centralized power generation, one-way power transmission, and human operation are now extremely obsolete in the age of microelectronics and rooftop photovoltaic systems. The North American electrical power grid is interconnected such that a small technical or human error can cause deadly international cascading grid failures with enormous economic impact. Inefficient electricity generation and transmission overhead costs greatly increase unproductive, useless waste of expensive, dirty, unsustainable, non-renewable, deadly declining energy sources like coal. Centralized power generation and distribution is a non-scalable diseconomy of scale. 125-year-old power grid technology and assumptions cannot be part of prosperous economic growth. It implies expensive energy input into inefficient electricity generation, which is fed to inefficient electricity transmission for significantly diminished energy delivered. The century-old power grid is failing. Our power grid cannot keep up. The sooner we stop trying to build our children's future on this non-scalable, obsolete 1883 strategy, the easier and less expensive the transition will be. We must move away from centralized electricity generation and transmission losses and move toward distributed point-of-use power generation and energy sharing. Our 125-year-old power grid is having deadly failures. Growing worldwide population and increasing demand combined with inefficient power generation, transmission, and distribution are having a dramatic impact on global warming. Centralized power generation cannot keep up with our needs. California refuses to buy electricity from coal. This map shows the largest power plant locations and types. The East Coast, Florida, and Hawaii still generate significant amounts of electricity from imported petroleum. Our current power grid is short-sighted with unsustainable, ignored trends. The concept of megawatts turning off non-critical power during peak load is simply not enough to solve the problems. Concurrent summer peak loads cause major power grid cascading failures. Please listen carefully to this. It takes up to five units of input energy to inefficiently deliver one unit of electricity. Essentially, it costs $5 to buy $1 worth of energy. $4 is wasted inefficiently. Instead of inefficient centralized power generation, transmission, and distribution systems, we need distributed energy generation instead of all this ugly, unhealthy equipment that's easily damaged by weather. There is a 5 to 1 diseconomy of centralized power generation scale. Long distance electrical transmission power towers are typically 155 to 765 volt three phase high tension lines. The farther power is transmitted, the more expensive the equipment and the more power is lost through resistance, heat, induction, and insulation. Even if power is cheap, it is wasted when transmitted. 300 miles is essentially the maximum practical limit, although many power companies try to send it farther with a great efficiency loss. Power generation should be very close to power usage. Solar photovoltaic systems on your rooftop make this easy to implement with no transmission losses. To generalize, the majority of the American infrastructure needs rapid radical replacement with modern solutions. Century-old, non-renewable, unsustainable fossil fuel has got to go away. We need to get rid of the 125-year-old electrical power grid frequent failures. 
50-year-old failing interstate highways and bridges were never designed to support a 40% freight load. Analog dial-up wired narrowband telecommunication is on a path toward improvement. Analog low-resolution television has a 2009 planned replacement. Most new cars and homes need to be replaced and never should have been developed the way they are today anyway. The 230-year-old Electoral College overrides the majority opinion. We do not have a representative form of government that's a true democracy. Self-serving, warmongering, pork-barrel politicians ignore clearly stated majority opinions. Lobbyists for special interest group profiteers override the needs of the many. Declining health care availability and increasing costs are controlled by profit motivation. Declining education quality and graduation rates are taking place while international global competitors are improving. We have an antiquated, fraud-prone Social Security card ID while Visa and MasterCard can respond instantly. All of our current problems are correctable but for resistance to change. It will cost well over $2 trillion to lay the foundation for the new U.S. infrastructure. But it is costing us far more to limp along, sadly, on our existing business-as-usual, unsustainable, obsolete, antiquated, crumbling infrastructure. Incremental patchwork repairs to our century-old, poorly designed foundational facilities are already costing us much more than starting over with a far more efficient basis for our national economy. Imagine if the world tried to run forever on coal-fired steam engines instead of innovative technology. Our 125-year-old power grid is at the end of an era. If you owned an antique Model T and you wanted to convert it to a modern high-performance electric car, you'd have to replace the engine, wheels, chassis, and eventually every single component of it. So it is with our antiquated electric power grid, which was designed and implemented in 1883, long before Henry Ford created the Model T. Our entire electricity infrastructure needs to be totally re-engineered. Small incremental patchwork improvements are not enough. Almost every element of it is long overdue for total replacement with modern technology and free, zero-pollution, clean, abundantly available renewable energy sources with a strong focus on the majority of our power generation near the point of end use. Anything less is merely business as usual patching up an obsolete old Model T. Long overdue legislation is now finally in place. Provisions of the U.S. Energy Independence and Security Act that was signed into law December 19, 2007 for the new smart grid include embedded digital information and controls to improve grid reliability, security, and efficiency, dynamic real-time optimization of grid operations and resources, distributed Two-way point-of-use generation, the ability to sell back excess generated power from photovoltaic systems, micro-hydroelectric, or wind power. Energy-efficient distributed storage and demand response, such as thermal energy storage, compressed air storage, hydroelectric dams, etc. And a new specification for smart online appliances, consumer devices, and real-time information communication. Abundant energy in harmony with nature. We need accelerated deployment of smart power grid innovations.